Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use PostgreSQL as a data source to create a dashboard in Grafana. So uh, I'm gonna first show you what is the table which I have created in PostgreSQL and what is the kind of data which it has. Okay, so right now I'm on CentOS 7 where I have installed PostgreSQL and I have created a database which is called uh, DemoDB. So I'm gonna connect to that by using PSQL and saying demo db okay so now we are connected to demo db and i'm going to show you a table name which is uh, called cpu so i'm going to show you data which is available in that uh, table name okay so if you see this is the you know type of data which we have so we have two column uh, column one is called time and column uh, two is called utilization which is util okay so uh, i'm kind of trying to you know put some data which is like uh, mimicking uh, cpu utilization data this is not really a real uh, time monitoring data but this is just a script a shell script which i have created which is going to put some random data in utilization okay now one thing which you notice here is uh, time here i'm putting in epoch format okay so you can put in uh, time stamp format that is fine as well or if you want to put it in epoch format that is fine as well okay so i'm gonna exit from here and then uh, let me exit from here and show you what is the script which i'm using okay so i have created this uh, script which is called load uh, data dot sh and if you see this is a you know a code which is written in the script okay now you don't really need to understand the script in detail all you need to understand is that uh, as you saw in my uh, table i had two columns and so i'm just inserting values in both of those columns and i'm just inserting date time and also inserting some random value okay so i'm just gonna you know make some changes here and this fine and now i'm going to run this uh, to run this i just need to let me first clear the screen now to run this i'm just gonna uh, execute this script so once i run this script it just uh, keeps on running forever and it keeps on adding new data every one second to a post sql okay so i'm going to run it and as you can see everything looks okay here now we are going to move on to grafana and we are going to add a new data source okay so this is uh, grafana uh, again it is a fresh installation of grafana which i have done for this demo and now i'm going to click on add data source and then in the add data source we are going to move on to uh, postgresql so this is the one where we need to go to and click on select now here we need to provide all the details of the database uh, first thing is if you want to change the name here from postgresql to any other name you can do that so i'm going to call it demo db psql okay so uh, you need to provide your host name and also the port which is 5432 which is the default one so here uh, my host name is itpanther01 and port is 5432 which is fine and database as i told you database name is demo db and username is postgres and password is my password which i have put here and sss SSL mode if you are you know if you don't know anything about SSL you can just click on disable just disable SSL mode okay if you are already aware of SSL mode in that case you can put that detail now I'm just gonna uh, keep disable here and after that you also need to provide version which is the you know post SQL version which you are on now in order to see a PSQL version or post SQL version uh, what you can do is I'm just gonna stop this for a moment and you can write psql hyphen v and it is going to give you the version now you can see we are on postgresql uh, 10.x so in that case uh, I'm just gonna select 10 version 10 okay uh, that's it now everything looks okay and we can click on save and test to see if it is uh, connecting Okay, it is saying database connection is okay, which means now we have been successfully able to connect to our data source. Now click on back. Uh, we can now go on and start creating our dashboard. So I'm just going to go to add new panel and here we need to select the data source. By default here I already have, I only have one data source. So that's why it is already being selected as default data source. 
Now here in the select table, as I shown you the table name which I have created is called CPU. So if I click here, I should be able to see that a table name. As you can see, I'm able to see that table name which is called CPU. Now in the time column, as you can see, because I had already, you know, the, the column name itself I had given as time. So uh, Grafana is smart enough to use that column name as, uh, you know, for X series for time. Okay, and for the value, uh, the second column which I had was called utilization or util. So now you can see second uh, or utilization, it has taken as a utilization value. Now uh, you can also apply aggregation. So for example, if you want to apply average function, mean or max, any function, you can do that here. So I'm gonna click on plus and going to go to aggregate function and let's uh, use average here. Okay, and then once we click on average, we also see here group by interval. So you can define uh, how you want to group it by. Uh, for example, in this case, I'm sending data every second. Okay, but uh, maybe when I'm calculating average, I want to group by the data for every 10 seconds. So I can do that here. Okay, now a uh, couple of things which we can change here is one thing. I'm just going to make it last five minutes. And also I'm going to change refresh interval to every five seconds. Okay. And then uh, let's change the name of this. It's going to be CPU utilization and click on apply. Okay, so this is how it is going to look like when you are connecting to PostgreSQL. Again, the data don't go on the data because data which I have is just a dummy data. But uh, this is how basically you connect to any PostgreSQL uh, data source and uh, start creating uh, any visualization. Now, if you have any specific query, please feel free to write in the comment box because uh, I know few people who approached me and wanted to know how we can connect to PostgreSQL database. That is the whole reason of creating this tutorial. And if you have any specific question, you can uh, go on, uh, connect to me on LinkedIn or probably you can just write in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next video.